What's up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. Um, I'm just gonna talk about a couple of things real quick. Uh, first and foremost, um, stream this week. I will stream probably either Thursday or Friday night, probably around nine or 10 o'clock for a little bit. So if you wanna jump onto that, let me know. Um, I may or may not play a game. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I may just talk as well. It just kind of depends on the flow of the day. Secondly, speaking of games, yesterday I started Psychonauts. Um, PlayStation Network had it on sale, God, probably a month or two ago for super cheap. I think it was like just a couple of dollars and I ended up buying it and I remember people freaking out about this game when it first released and I never got a chance to play it and so I was like I really want to play this game um, see what it's about I love Tim Schafer I love Double Fine Studios um, which I don't think Double Fine made Maniac Mansion I know Tim Schafer did but I know they made Brutal Legend and it was fantastic among a few other things and uh, like Day of the Tentacle and stuff. So there, there's a ton of good things, and so I knew that it was going to be good. I remember my boss, John, freaking out about it, and he was like, you got to play it, you got to play it. And oh my freaking God, is that game fantastic or what? It reminded me of what I love about games. Games now don't do that, and I know that they are working on a Psychonauts 2, which is really, really cool. Basically, the principle is you're uh, a dude who has, um, like, basically, like, mind control or and psychic abilities, I guess you would say. I don't know if psychic is the word yet, but basically, you learn how to control your mind. You infiltrate other people's minds, and it sounds... I, I can't really explain it, man. Even explaining it, it doesn't really give you justice or, or it's an action game and it's an adventure game but like your different landscapes that you go to are different figments of people's imaginations within their brain um and you learn how to control your mind how you do things like that and it's i can't explain it but it is just so fantastic right now um i played it for about an hour and a half last night uh now today is the super bowl so i probably won't play any today because um, I do have to get Noah down for a nap and stuff like that as well. But I do plan on playing it again tomorrow night for a little bit. I mean, I, I'm blown away by it. I'm absolutely floored by how amazing this game is. So I'm really, really looking forward to Psychonauts 2. Of course, I need to finish Psychonauts 1 anyway. I love PS2, man. I love PlayStation 2. I love it so much. I love a lot of the games on it. Um, I think uh, in, in the near future, I want to start collecting some PS2 games because it is one of my favorite consoles. Then there's so many good games on it between from RPGs to weird action games like that. Uh, even the PS3 did a pretty solid job with like Brutal Legend and stuff like that. And like there was a game called Wet that was really fun. And like they just, I don't know, man. It's just like gaming doesn't take risks anymore. Everything's cookie cutter. And towards the end of the PS3 and Xbox 360 life, you started seeing that. And, and I guess. I guess that's where indie developers really shine. They just don't really... I like physical copies of discs, but if it's something that's digital only, then I will buy it. Like, I, I didn't have any means to get a, get my hands on a copy of Psychonauts 2, and it was like $3, so I was like, well, you know, whatever, I'll buy that. But I will say, I probably will look for a copy of that just to have in my collection. But yeah, I really wish gaming would do something like that, take more risks and stuff. I wish everything wasn't just a Call of Duty clone or a Battlefield clone, which are technically clones of themselves. Don't kill me to each fan base because I know that they hate each other. But I wish that that would happen, man. I wish there was more than just Team Deathmatch. Every game that comes out is some just sort of newish Team Deathmatch game. So I don't know. I, I wish that. But anyway, that's it on the gaming side of things. I just want to talk about Psychonauts for a minute, man. That game is so freaking good, man. Oh, my Lord, that game is amazing. And I plan on, honestly, what I'm thinking about doing is turning my gaming channel into just a stream channel. And if I do that, I'll just stream older games because there's a bunch of games I want to stream. I want, I would love to play through uh, Psychonauts on stream. I'd love to play through some, like, um, uh, oh, my God, what is that game called? Sorry, I had to think for a minute. Destroy All Humans. Uh, destroy all humans like I would love to play some old stuff and I might turn it from an old like I may stream occasionally newer stuff but I think I'm just gonna stream like old PS2 games maybe some PS1 stuff just some old stuff and just have fun so if you have any interest in that I will leave a link to my gaming channel below and I'm gonna stream probably three or four times a week that way it'll be it'll be at night uh, after I edit and everything so I may be on for 30 minutes or I may be on for an hour and a half uh, but that way you can come chill and watch some games so I think we're gonna start doing that uh, this coming week 
and let me know what you want to see. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff now. I have GTA 3. I'm just thinking of games I have now on my PlayStation. Uh, GTA 3, I have um, obviously Psychonauts, which I'm loving, and I may just do that. Um, I have, um, what else do I have? I have Bully, which is really, really good, Destroy All Humans. Um, so I have several things uh, that I can stream. So if you have a preference, let me know, and that is what I'll stream. But if not, I'll probably start with, uh, honestly, I'll probably start with Psychonauts, man, because that game is good. I hate to kind of do what I've already done, but it's okay, man. The game in itself is good enough. I don't mind playing what I've already played again. So, yeah. And then I did watch the movie It, and I, I really liked it. Um, I don't have any kind of knowledge of It, so I watched this kind of just as a standalone I know nothing about any kind of backstory of it or anything of that nature. Um, I don't know how the clown is supposed to be. I don't know any of that stuff um, because I know that there's some people who dislike it um, and I know that there are people that like it and stuff. And I was watching it and while I was watching it, I was like, you know, I, I could see why some people would dislike this um, and I see why some people love it. Um, I personally, I didn't, I don't know if I would say that I loved it. Like it's not the greatest movie ever by any means. But I got, I got some enjoyment out of it, man. I love some of the brutality of it. I liked all the bloodshed. I love the scene where he picks that kid's arm up and he's waving with it. I like stuff like that just because it's kind of like, I don't know, it's it's just real brutal and I like stuff like that from time to time. So, But overall, I thought it was pretty good. I'm really anxious to see what part two holds. I assume it's when they're older, I think. Um, but again, man, I knew nothing about the movie It. I know nothing about the story It. I've never read it. I've never done anything like that. Um, and again, it's such blasphemy because I love John Ritter. And I know John Ritter is in the original movie. So, I don't know. Um, but I, I enjoyed it, man. I got enjoyment out of it. It's hard for me not to get enjoyment out of a movie. Even just for the, you know, just, just to sit back and relax and have fun. It's been a while since I've seen something that I've been like... This is absolutely terrible. So, but I did. I, I thought it was very, very solid. Um, I thought the acting was all right for the most part. I love that um, Will from uh, Stranger Things was in it. I thought that was really cool. Um, also, I've read some cross uh, cross theories that Stranger Things and it takes place in the same, basically in the same time, or not in the same time, but in the same, yeah, same time, same universe. Um, because Stranger Things take place in the '80s, and Bob had made mention of growing up in Maine and being terrorized by a clown, which would have been set roughly about the same time the book of it took, takes place. Um, so that's really cool. I love little fan theories like that, man. I like seeing stuff like that. It's really, really interesting. Kind of like when you get online and you see a bunch of stuff about like, oh, you know, Toy Story is related to this movie or that movie and all the Pixar movies are in the same universe and crap like that. I think that that's really entertaining. I don't know. I like it. But anyway, that has nothing to do with the movie It. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was pretty solid. I, I am interested to go back and watch the original It. Um, and then honestly, maybe at some point in my life, I would like to read It. But man, I just, I have so much crap. It's hard for me to find time for all this stuff, man, between... I'm working out 20 to 30 minutes a day. I try to study um, either Spanish or Esperanto or whatever language I'm working on, Spanish or Esperanto right now. Um, I try to study it for at least an hour a day and then I try to fit in time to play a little bit of games. So I, I don't know, it's hard for me to, like even when I go to sleep, that's all I'm doing is studying languages and stuff. And like this morning I woke up, Noah was walking around the living room, I studied Spanish for about, uh, probably about 45 minutes and I would like to study more. So I, I don't know, it's hard for me to find time to do that plus editing video and stuff. So the point is, is I'm super busy, I guess, but not in like a, oh, I've got business meetings type of thing. It's more of a, I just have so much crap that I'm doing and I'm dedicated to it right now. So I don't know. But maybe somewhere down the line, I will get a chance to just sit back and read it. I think it's a huge book too, because Stephen King does not mess around with uh, making like shorter books. I mean, I know he has like his short story things and there are some shorter books. Like I think Gerald's Game is a little bit shorter and stuff like that, but man, uh, some of his books are just so freaking long. So, which is fine. I mean, you get what you pay for, I guess. And he's amazing. He's just overly descriptive. This is going off. Let me stop right there. So point is at some point I'll probably try to read it and watch the original movie. All right, guys, and I am going to wrap the video here. It's a little bit early, but I wanted to get today's video out or done because the Super Bowl is tonight, and then I'm going to hang out with Noah a little bit, obviously, and then um, probably try to get in bed and stuff like that, and that way I can watch the Super Bowl without having to edit. And I wanted to touch on the um, streaming and stuff like that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I hope to see you guys 
uh, tomorrow.